Hey everybody, you know, we're in the middle of the summer and if you're looking to buy or if you've been thinking about it for a long time, looking to buy a home here in the Memphis market and if you've been keeping track of the real estate market, you know it's been a, a crazy up and down for the past, uh, real, really since 2020. It's been pretty wild, but wanted to give you an update of what's going on here. What does it actually feel like on the ground? What are people seeing, experiencing? And uh, so you know I got Chris here. Chris, uh, what's up, Chris? We're going to talk about this market and give people an idea of what's going on. Uh, do you know what's going on, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I know a little bit about it, Jared. I'm kind of, I'm here, I'm boots on the ground. I'm, I'm going through these offers and these multiple offers and things. So I've got a little bit of uh, info to share with you guys. Well, that's good. That's what we want to talk about because, you know, I, coming out of, you know, the last couple of years, obviously, you know, a lot of people we talked to were like, hey, we want to come, but we're, we're waiting for, you know, it was, we're waiting for prices to come back down. And now it's, we're waiting for interest rates to come back down. <laughs> so it's, yeah. uh, you know, we're always waiting for something, but, um, that's what we want to talk about here. Before we get too deep into it, I do want to say um, most of our videos are not uh, data analytical like this. Uh, it's obviously important if you are that person who really is thinking about making a move or buying a house soon here in the Memphis metro area. Uh, but if you like seeing our other content where we get out, uh, you, maybe you're not quite into this yet. That's okay. Just leave us a comment down there. Let us know uh, where you want to see us go in our next video. Um, so make sure you do that. Make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to click the bell so that you'll see all those videos when they come out. Uh, when we get around to these other areas. Uh, and of course, if you are that person who really, you're watching this because you're trying to figure out where to go, what you want to do, uh, to just take it a step further. Yeah, reach out to us, guys. Give me a call or text at the number on the screen. Um, I'd love to talk to you. We'll talk about the different areas, your time frame of moving here, and uh, we'll work on that game plan together. That's right, y'all. So let's let's jump on into this. And we've got, we, we kind of, we obviously have our experiences, what we've seen uh, personally in the market. We've also pulled up some data uh, to kind of just uh, to give us a little background into that to see the, the backstory of what's going on. But uh, what are you seeing, Chris, uh, you know, all, you know, in the different areas in Memphis, the clients you've been working recently, uh, what, what are people, you know, are we in those multi-offer situations? Are there opportunities for, you know, new build incentives um, or, or seller concessions? What, what are we seeing on the ground? Um, so to answer the question about the multi-offers, yeah, I mean, yeah, we are seeing multi-offers still on the nice listings, right? That new one that comes on the market on Friday and it's super clean, got the manicured yard, all the fresh amenities on the interior, maybe a pool or something like that here in the, uh, the hot Memphis summer. Those homes, they are still getting multiple offers. They are bidding at list, maybe slightly above, and you're not getting many concessions on those. Now, if it's been on the market a week or two, there's not any, you know, no one's made an offer yet. You can come in there, you can make a list price offer, maybe a little bit less, um, and you're able to get some of those concessions. You're able to get the inspection contingencies, ask for a home warranty, things like that. Maybe you need a fridge. You're asking the seller to leave the fridge behind. So it really, that day's on market right now is just key, key information to look at when you're um, deciding what to offer on these homes. And um, the agent, myself, I, I'll lead you into that and we'll put our best foot forward. Um, as far as the new constructions, the pre-sales, meaning there's, there's nothing there but a lot right now, um, those we're not seeing as we're not seeing many incentives on the pre-sales. Um, there may be a little bit in like the design center where you can upgrade a few things here and there. Um, I know one of the local builders offer like an extra thousand dollars to vets that are relocating to the area on the VA loans and things like that. So the pre-sales, you're not getting many builder incentives. Now the market ready houses, the ones that are there, they're ready to be sold, they're ready to be moved in right away. The builders are offering incentives on those. Um, in the Tipton County market, I'm seeing around ten to twenty thousand at that four fifty and above price range. Um, in the Arlington Lakeland areas, we're seeing somewhere around five to ten thousand dollar incentives on those things. Um, and then, so to answer the question, yes, we are getting some incentives. We are getting some concessions on homes that are listed for sale by the owners, and they've been on market for a, a few days. But if you if you've been searching and you've been waiting on that right house to come up, and boom, here it is this weekend, I would encourage you to come in with a strong offer on the beginning because you're not the only one that's been looking at the market, waiting on that perfect opportunity to come along. So you want to beat the competition, get that offer in there, put your best foot forward in the beginning, and uh, hopefully lock down that contract in, um, within just a few days on market. Yeah, I would say pretty much, I mean, you know, even through the crazy market of 2020, 21, and 22, um, you know, the new builds 
were really the opportunity if you were coming in, if you were going to get any kind of chance to not have to compete, you know, and not go really crazy with stuff that the new builds is kind of where that opportunity was. And we're not, we're still in a pretty high per sellers market. I think, especially the lower price points. If you're looking under um, the 400,000 and I can say this too, on the Mississippi side, if you're under 400,000, it's pretty, you know, it, it would be considered a high per sellers market, but you know, there's probably relative to the demand about double or triple what there would have been, in the last couple of years. So even though it's pretty tight and it's pretty crazy and things are moving quickly, you've got a little bit more. And, uh, you know, so the builders aren't, uh, quite as, uh, you know, quite as not, they're not acting quite the way they were at least, you know, a couple of years ago. Cause it was hard to get in touch with them. Uh, they didn't really want to hear from us a whole lot for no. a little while. And that's changed a little bit. It has. They've had their they've had their in in house agents, and um, so when they were building and selling them before they could even get the houses built or the lots uh, platted out, um, they didn't need the buyers agents that much. But right now they're coming back to us. They're reaching out to you and me, Jared, right, to come do these tours of the new construction homes in the areas. So we're doing that. Um, but yeah, I think they're a little more uh, willing to work with us and a lot more negotiable on incentives and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot more favorable to you right now uh, than it was, uh, you know, uh, say last summer, this last year, the same time. I mean, you're, you're going to have a lot more favorable. If you're a buyer coming in this market, if you're already here and you're just looking to, you know, find a new home in this market, you're going to have a, uh, a lot better time than you would have. Now, the obvious downside that, you know, everybody's talking about is, you know, rates are up. And, uh, you know, last summer, everybody was waiting for prices to come down. This summer, everybody's waiting for rates to come down. And, uh, you know, the people who moved last year, last year, I think we did an update at some point. And uh, at least my prediction was, you know, uh, the market is not going to see this crate because we were seeing just ridiculous appreciation, you know, over the last few years. Sure. Um, my prediction then was, hey, you know, it's going to it's going to flatten off. Maybe it'll go up a little. Maybe it'll pull back just a hair. But it's, you know, here in this market, I didn't think we were going to see the crazy things. Uh, like we have seen in some of the other bigger markets around the country where, you know, prices have pulled back 20, 30% here, maybe, you know, maybe 5% or less in some cases. I think the average, I think the average has pulled back about maybe four or 5%. Um, yeah. and that varies obviously in different price points. So, you know, prices have pretty much stabilized. They don't appear to be going down because the inventory, the inventory is still very low. Uh, the interest yeah. rates you know, maybe, maybe have actually helped that a little bit, but you know, the interest rates are probably where they're going to be for a little bit too. If they come back down, you know, maybe we'll see in the fives, but I don't think it'll be a long time. I believe before we see fours or if we ever see threes again, yeah. uh, you know, so. I'm not you know, sure we'll see that in our lifetime again, Jared, I've been in the mortgage business in real estate since I was for 20 years, 20 plus years. I did mortgages as a young man. I've been in real estate since 2008. And um, so when I started, rates were eight, eight, eight and a half percent selling mortgages at that rate. And now this 6% rate, I know it doesn't sound good for if you bought a house in the past three years, but overall 6% is a great rate on a mortgage. So the, my point is if you're sitting around waiting on rates to come down or prices to come down, well, people have been waiting for two years. It hasn't happened yet. I don't know that it's going to happen. I still think this is a good market to purchase in. We've got a lot of big things happening in the Memphis area, so we're not looking at 10, 20, 30% price drops. I mean, this is not the mortgage crisis all over again. That's not the market that, that we're in. Um, you mentioned inventory. Inventory is up by about 10% year over year in the month of June, so that's a good thing. I mean, at least you've got some options. And... Uh, but as far as rates and prices, prices are strong. They're holding where they're at. The rates are holding around that 6% now for five, six, seven months, um, a little above 6% actually. So I don't know. I think if my house come along that I've been looking for, um, I would jump on it and make, it, make an offer on it and make it happen. Yep. And the good news is, is you're able to make these offers now, maybe contingent on the sale of your house. Whereas last year, sale contingencies, man, you could hang that up. They, they, they had 20 other offers without sale contingencies. They were not going to take that. So now you may still be able to get that sale contingency accepted because homes are still selling, um, but there's not 20 offers on the good ones. There's maybe two, three in the first weekend. And if not that, you know, you're, you've got two or three, two weeks to make it happen. So, um, 
I don't know. I, I don't think that I don't think we're going to see those two percent rates ever again. And the price drops in our market are, are comparable, like you said, around four percent. Yeah. Yeah. So so there. I think the big takeaway there is, you know, you're you're going to be doing this. You're looking at a house. You know, if you looked at a house that was three fifty last summer, priced at three hundred fifty thousand, and it's that same house is three hundred fifty thousand this summer. Last summer, like you said, you know, you're waiving inspections, you're paying over appraisal, you're doing all this stuff. Or yeah. this year, you know, maybe you can get the inspection and get some things fixed. Maybe you sure. can get a little stuff done. So it's just you're having an easier time. And then you're in this market where I still feel like we talk about all, all the time here on the channel. There's a lot of growth and things coming here to the Memphis area that are going to be pumping these values up even more over time. So so, you know, while some of these other markets have pulled back, we've got the things here that are stabilizing and will continue, uh, it appears, to lift those values over time. So it just doesn't, I mean, again, we say this all the time, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know things can happen. You know, the, the world is crazy. But uh, at least here in the local area, it just doesn't look like things are progressing in a way that are going to drive values down in any significant way in the, you know, in the next few years, it doesn't look like it looks like things are, are headed up. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask too, um, the, some of the builders were doing, I think DR Horton was one of them that was doing the, uh, the int interest rate, if interest rates is a big deal. Are they still doing that, that buyback or that buy down or, or they are. They have? Well, well, DR Horton has their own lender. So they have, mm -hmm. I don't I'm not sure the name of it, DR Mortgage or something like that. But anyways, if you use their lender and their t closing title companies, then they're offering below market rates. I mean, when I checked last, um, my local lenders were all at six and a half. DR Horton was at five and a half. And I, I don't know what their rate is at the moment. I can check and find out. I think it's around five and a half, five, seven, five. But they are offering below market rates. They're offering $10,000 incentives for closing costs and things like that. And they're also giving you a full appliance package and blinds all the way through the house. It's a smart home. It's got a ring doorbell, like a, 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 a Wi-Fi thermostat. So... You know, those incentives, first time home buyer, or maybe you're one of these Navy guys, you're only going to be here two or three years, you're coming in town. I think those are good deals for you guys. And when I'm looking back, so DR Horton's been in our market for about four or five years now. Every home they've built, I've seen these guys um, purchase them brand new. They're turning them over for a profit a year or two later. Every DR Horton home that's listed on the market now that is a resale, it is 10 to 15% higher than what the uh, the buyers paid for it uh, one or two years ago, and they're selling. They're not sitting on the market. They're ready to go. So yeah, I think DR Horton is a good um, option for. That's more of like a 350 less price point. They've got those. They're building a new subdivision in in Millington. They've got them in the Mumford area. They got them in Oakland. They've got several subdivisions in the uh, North Mississippi area that you can talk about, Jared. Um, mm -hmm. So, anyways, DR Horton does have a strong incentive with the ten thousand in closing costs, below market rates, and then it's it's move in ready with all the appliances. So that's a good one. Yeah, last I'd heard, and, and it it could be out of date because obviously this stuff changes pretty frequently. But the last I'd heard was five and a half percent through them if you're doing if you're going through them. And then other, I know uh, I know we got a call from uh, D and D up there in the Toka area. They were doing twenty thousand on some of those as an incentive. So yes, he's got a couple there. nice. Sorry to interrupt you there, Jared. He's got a couple nice ones in the Mufford area right now with twenty thousand dollar incentives, brand new homes, three car garages right across the street from the Mufford school system, which is uh, Mufford Elementary, middle and high school is all right there. Um, so yeah, those are big incentives, 20,000 to buy down the rate, closing costs and uh, things like that. So that's a big incentive on a market ready house right now. Yeah. So there you go. I, I think, you know, it, you're going to have a better time than you were last year. It is still competitive, especially at the, the lower price points on things that are, you know, that look good. They're moving ready. Um, if you can look at the new construction, you actually have opportunities there to get some help. That's what's going on here. That's what we're seeing. Um, you know, it's it's definitely for us, it's a lot better. It's a lot easier because, you know, when you know, we're trying to help people and it's just, you know, there's nothing out there. And when you try to get on it, you're, you know, there's five cash offers that come in and beat yeah. you out. It, it was getting pretty frustrating. And at least we're getting to a point where we're, we're away from that. And I would say, if anything, you could say, we're getting closer. We're a lot closer to a normal market, you know, just a, yeah. just what we're kind of used to prior to COVID and everything. 
uh, in 2019 in the last or 2020 in the last few years. Yeah, I think things are definitely norm, uh, more normal now than they have been in the past three years. My YouTube clients, when they're in town, it's much better this year than it was last year because last year, man, they would come in town. I would have three, four houses to show them. And by the time we got there to see, to tour the homes, they already had offers on them. Um, this year, I've got a list where we're able to go look at 10, 15 homes. Um, mentioning that, you YouTube clients that are calling, a lot of you guys are leaning towards these new construction, and I think that's great, man. You're walking into a brand new home. You don't have to worry about repairs, problems. They're always under the builder's warranty for at least the first year. All the mechanicals are under warranty. So new construction in Arlington, Lakeland, Cargerville, Mumford, Millington, um, in the Bartlett area, all those are great opportunities for you YouTube clients that are looking to um, relocate here to the Memphis market. Yeah, and, and and same thing too. Down in uh, Olive Branch, you've got some good ones uh, over around South Haven, Horn Lake. You've got some good uh, Dr. Horton down there too, uh, with some of those same good incentives. So, yeah, all that's going on. It's a great opportunity for you. If whether, like I said, whether you're coming here to the Memphis market or if you're already here looking for something, uh, but if you are coming here, you're watching this channel because you like to learn about the Memphis area, or if you're, if you're new to the channel, either way. Um, again, we love making these videos. We love it even more to help you out to make that move here. Uh, we can serve you, help you out on both sides. If you're looking in uh, the, the Tennessee side, the Memphis area, or if you drop down into the Mississippi side, we can take care of you as well. All you got to do, uh, hit this number up that you see right here on the screen. Yeah, reach out to us, guys. Give me a call or text. Let's start the process together and uh, get you moved right here to Memphis, Tennessee. And, and if you're watching this far in the video, um, a, a, a video like this especially, you know, we like to get out and have fun. Uh, and go look at stuff. Uh, this one's probably a little more dry. So if you if you stuck around this long, leave us a like uh, and definitely reach out because uh, you know if you're here this long, we we might as well have a conversation. So give us a call. Uh, but y'all, if, if you want to, maybe you're not ready yet. You want to just know a little bit more about what's going on here in the Memphis area, what it's like living here. Definitely check out the video that you see popping up on the screen right now. Uh, it's definitely one that you don't want to miss. And we'll see you there.